We're doing business as usual, and I would just like to talk to you today about where we are, what we do, how we do things, make it as short and sweet as possible. And if uh, you have any questions while I'm speaking or you want to talk to me afterwards, that's fine. But I want this to be as informative as possible, and I'm as loose as, as they come when it comes to sitting down and, and arranging a time to, to actually discuss your project with you, and uh, hopefully we can, we can do something for someone in this room. Uh, the Governor's Action Team is the primary development agency in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, we have 26 professionals uh, throughout the state headquartered in Harrisburg with the regional offices in Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Scranton, Erie, and Lewisburg. And if you can see, uh, my territory in the Northeast actually goes as, as far as Tioga County and southward into Schuylkill County. So it, it is rather substantial territory. It is 13 counties, and it's amazing to see how the state programs are looked at differently in each of those 13 counties. Uh, at one time, I did have 21 counties, but they have given some uh, credence to the central region and taken some of that away from me. So right now, we're at 13, and uh, hopefully, if you're in that county, I can help you. If not, uh, I'll get you to somebody else in our agency who covers the area you're in. What we uh, normally put together is site selection information for the client, especially for the client who is looking at Pennsylvania from the outside. Uh, we have an inventory of available sites and buildings. We provide uh, information on workforce, utilities, transportation, and state and local taxes. Uh, the coordination that exists between us and the other agencies in the state is usually through a liaison in each of the agencies. So if you have an issue with any state agency and you come to us, we'll be able to at least cut through the red tape and hopefully get you an answer more quickly than you would if you were coming in off the street. Uh, while we may deal with PennDOT and revenue and labor and industry, typically our main interaction these days is with the Department of Environmental Protection. And I know that uh, when Peter Konjorski asked me to speak, we talked a little bit about DEP and the fact that I was able to secure some brochures about their economic development programs. But for most of the energy programs, we are saying the first point of contact should probably be DEP because they have funding available through some of their programs and they also are the regulatory agency. So you definitely want to talk to them before you start your operation because if their permitting is part of your time frame, you got to be in the door fairly, fairly early to get them to get your permit on time. Once the due diligence is done with DEP, then we will sit down with the company and say, all right, here's what we can pick up relative to whatever slack might be out there. Um, in the case of, of Commonwealth Energy, who you know, was so kind to invite me here and, and put this whole thing together, uh, you know, we had that discussion with them uh, probably simultaneously as they were discussing their project with DEP. So we've been able to at least put an offer on the table to Commonwealth and hopefully they will come to fruition with their project in Lackawanna County. Um, the incentives, most everyone wants to have an opportunity grant because of the fact that it carries the greatest flexibility. Uh, opportunity grants can be used for anything that the company so desires. Uh, I always advise that the company use that pot of money for equipment because it carries the least baggage when it comes to dealing with uh, Davis-Bacon or have to, having to pr uh, pay prevailing wage. Um, a lot of companies use the customized job training program in WebNet to train not only new people but their existing people. Many companies use infrastructure development to help with the development of infrastructure, especially on undeveloped sites. We offer job creation tax credits and we offer research and development tax credits. And on our loan side, the PIDA, Pennsylvania Industrial Development Authority, is a bricks and mortar program that companies use for basically building construction, land acquisition, that sort of thing. The machinery and equipment loan fund is the one that I discussed earlier where uh, it has been oversubscribed. So as we speak, we're not able to offer that, but we're hopefully uh, going to get that back on board in the near future. Um, there are also IDP loans. While most companies will use IDP in the grant form, there are some who use it in the loan form. And then we have the Small Business First program, which is basically 
uh, for smaller businesses of less than 100 employees and sometimes include those in our offer letters. Uh, I'm sure you know about the Keystone Opportunity Zones. Obviously, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of discussion about those these days. I mean, some are expiring at the end of 2010, others expiring at the end of 2013, and some of the zones were extended through 2017. So all I would say is that each of our projects, while you might be looking for a site, we'd be able to provide information as to what sites are available that are KOZ designated and give you the uh, expiration dates for each. Um, some of the legislative changes included expansions, extension of benefits, new zones, ex ex uh, enhanced tail sales tax exemption and apportionment. Uh, in our due diligence process, as, as Commonwealth Energy knows, we gather project information and that project information is kept confidential and the only time that the information is made public is if we're in a position to announce the project and, and hopefully have somebody cut a ribbon and say, this is what the state's participation in the deal was. But as far as the company information is concerned, that's between the Commonwealth and the company and we don't divulge that to anyone. Uh, we do analyze the company's financials. We analyze their project bu budget. Um, the competitiveness is the, of the project is important because if, we're, if the company is looking at another state versus Pennsylvania, that actually plays in the favor of the company in Pennsylvania because it shows that there's a possibility of the company going elsewhere and we want to do our best to keep the company here or bring the company here. And uh, ultimately the goal is to craft a financial offer which is actually a document, a letter from the Commonwealth saying based upon your project which calls for an investment of $10 million and the creation of 100 jobs. Here's what the Commonwealth is willing to do for you and program by program will outline what dollar amount is attached in each of the program. And not only is that useful to the company who's obviously going to use that money, but it's also useful to the company when they're going out and trying to hit banks up for money because if the bank knows that the Commonwealth is in the deal, it obviously gives them a greater comfort level. Where do the deals come from? Uh, companies will do a lot of fact-finding on their own. We deal with a lot of consultants. I've had an excellent relationship with all our local economic development partners for years here. We do get a lot of referrals through elected officials, other Commonwealth agencies, and through the marketing efforts of our agency. Uh, here's our track record over the period of time from January of, of 03 through December of 08. Uh, 2,400 2, projects, um, 1,100 projects successfully completed, and you can see the job creation numbers are 115,000, retentions 260, and leveraging 16.6 .6 billion in private investment. Um, and if you just look by category, you can see what, what our track record has been over the last few years. Uh, the top projects by project cost, uh, unfortunately, do not include any um, in this particular area, but by jobs created, we do have the Amazon.com deal in the Hazleton area, which was 1,121 jobs. And we also had our friends at Commonwealth Financial Systems, the, the sister company to Commonwealth Energy, and at their 407 job project became one of the highest job creators in the state. So uh, not only do I appreciate Commonwealth Energy, but I appreciate Commonwealth Financial Systems for what they do in the area. The bottom line is the creation and the retention of jobs in Pennsylvania. Uh, that's, that's our main focus, that's our main issue. And like I said earlier, everything that we do in the governor's action team is case by case. So if you have something that you feel is viable, where you're going to have significant investment, significant job creation, or you think that it's going to work despite those two not being into play, all I can tell you is, is call me. I'd be more than glad to sit with you uh, and discuss all the parameters of your deal. And, uh, that's my presentation, and I'm wondering if anyone might have any questions. Uh